see how to use Web3 or Dashboard. The Dashboard allows you to choose from your favorite social provider or bring in your email address. So we are going to use this temporary mail service just to show you how the new onboarding service looks like. So once you uh, put in your email and click on continue to email, uh, a, a verification email will be sent to your email, uh, which would look something like this. And once you click on approve login request, um, the log authentication will be succeeded and you will see um, the message like this, right? And uh, this will come back here and ask you to set up your email, uh, confirm your email and set up your name. So I'm going to put in my name here, uh, click on the agree to Web3 Auth terms of use and privacy policy and click on next. Then this will ask you to create your organization name. Make sure that you um, put in your organization name uh, correctly here. Since uh, this is more of um, um, unique uh, to every user. So we have um, DevRel uh, organization already. So I'm going to name this as DevRel2. And feel free to change um, as per your organization size uh, then the industry. Uh, this is uh, this is helpful for us to know like where you are, uh, at which stage, and uh, what support we can give it to you, uh, as per as the industry where you are coming from. Then click on next. This will uh, take you to this particular page where you will have the option to see and create a project. Uh, see from different options like plug and play SDKs, Corkit SDKs and the support uh, forum link, uh, troubleshooting guides, uh, all these hyperlinks here. Uh, on the right, uh, top right, you can see your profile information. Uh, you can see your profile settings. You can also have, uh, uh, you will have a wallet associated with your dashboard to manage your funds um, for the wallet uh, itself. Um, because it's in itself, uh, this it in itself is a dApp using uh, Web3 Auth behind the scenes. Then you will have the options to create uh, multiple projects directly from here, or uh, you can come and uh, click on projects. You will see the list of projects after uh, you created one. So let's go ahead and create one project. So we'll do Genesis 3, and then you have to select the product, uh, whether you are going to use it for plug and play or core kit. So in this case, I just selected plug and play. And here you can choose from the platform type from web applications to Unreal Engine. Um, then here, this is where you start your project. So it, it, ideally you should start from Sapphire DevNet. And then once you um, tested, the, tested the project in, the, in your uh, testing environment, um, then create the mainnet, uh, mainnet uh, project for your uh, production application. So we'll select uh, DevNet from here. Then this is more on like on which chain you are building on. Is it EVM chain, Solana chain, Casper, Ripple? So allowing, when you click on these, what it does is that it allow you to choose uh, to export the private key um, to be used in uh, our wallet, which is like EVM wallet, like app.tornotas. Similarly, if you choose Solana, uh, we have another uh, wallet, which is solana.tornotas. And similarly, if you see the Casper and Ripple, you will see uh, the same. So th the this will allow the interoperability feature. So your DAP users will be able to use uh, these, uh, use the accounts created using this particular project and can take it uh, to be used in uh, these wallets. So let's create this project. What it gives you is more about the client ID and client secret. Um, this this is where you whitelist your domain. So once you you tested thoroughly uh, in your local environment, uh, once you decide to go production, uh, just paste in your production URL here. Uh, uh, failing to do this uh, will give you error that the client ID is not properly whitelisted on your domain. So what it does is that it uh, helps you protect your client ID uh, from uh, misuse, from being misused by uh, uh, someone else. Then apart from this, um, you have options to um, 
archive your project if you're not uh, using uh, this particular project once you arch archive it will come in the archive folder um, the next one is more on the setting side of it where what you have previously filled in you can add more information here the next part is if this is your organization then you would probably want more people uh, to be part of this organization since this is a free tier uh, or a base plan then it has just one seats included in this you would have to upgrade your plan uh, when you click uh, by going through the billing section and changing the plan so the plan varies from 69 uh, dollars a month uh, to uh, for a growth plan and then scale plan would have um, 399 and you can even contact our sales team to get a custom pricing for you uh, once you do that, you will be able to invite more people uh, in your organization. Uh, the invitation is very simple. Just click on this, uh, click the, uh, put in the email, select the role what you wanted to in, uh, give to that particular person, and then just click on invite. Um, next up is inside the project itself. One is uh, more around like how do you create a custom authentication. So if you are on a DevNet and Testnet projects, uh, if you have created a DevNet and Testnet environment um, uh, projects, then you will be able to create uh, the DevNet and Testnet uh, custom authentication verifiers. So these are more of a custom logics, uh, authentication logics which are needed for your application. Um, what you give is just a straightforward name uh, to your verifier so that it's identifiable uh, by um, the uh, it's identifiable, identify, identifiable, and then it's been used uh, in the codes. So it allows you to select from multiple social providers, from uh, Google, Facebook, Twitch, or Discord, and Auth0. Through Auth0s, you can uh, you can use multiple authentication type, which is not directly supported on the dashboard, from Kakao, WeChat, LinkedIn, GitHub, um, Reddit, Twitter. Uh, all these options uh, gets enabled or what you could do is that you can bring a custom provider uh, for example if you are to use firebase or <coughs> aws cognito then you would have to select custom provider then there is something <coughs> very um, interesting is uh, about aggregate verifiers what it does is this allows you to aggregate multiple social options like let's say uh, one social login will uh, um, so the thing is that uh, these verifiers are unique in its nature what it does is that once a user is logging through google they'll get a different uh, wallet address and even if your app uses uh, uh, different social providers let's say if they uses facebook to log into your app then they will get a different wallet address because they have used different social options what aggregate uh, verifiers or aggregate uh, pro multiple provider option does is that it allows you to create uh, aggregation of those uh, social options. So even if a uh, user is logging from Google or Facebook, as far as uh, they have a common uh, common verifier, uh, which is like usually the email, if they have used the same email, then uh, regardless of this uh, login method, they will get uh, just uh, they'll get a same wallet address so which is very unique uh, on like how uh, this aggregation works so uh, this is really helpful on that uh, regard so yeah this is this this was more on the aggregation and custom authentication apart from this uh, you will have the options to select see the analytics number of logins been been you know used for your apps uh, what are the verifiers is done and um, if you have any queries uh, um, on like integration and if you're stuck somewhere you can um, directly reach out to our community forum which is here web3.io slash community and just create an uh, just create a topic here so if you're not uh, if you don't have an account here you would just have to create on uh, login with web3 auth and which will eventually uh, if you're logged in here you will be directly uh, logged in to the community forum as well and uh, yeah this was this was a quick walkthrough on like how to use uh, and get started with the dashboard and see you in the next one thank you